for today in lang and reading, sorry, reading, that is a class that we are now, we're going to review the topic of yesterday there. If you remember, we were talking about the vocabulary. You are not going to copy today. You are not going to copy in reading. Don't worry about it. We are not going to copy. Now, I'll just in your attention because if you remember yesterday, we read a day with grandpa that it was on page 22. In that page, we find out some, some words. Here I have the words. Let's review these words one more time because we need it. We need to know the meaning of these words. What is a biscuit? Remember that a biscuit is a round form of baked bread. It's something that you can eat. You can find it if you go, for example, to uh, uh, to buy a hamburger. Sometimes they ask you, do you would you like to have a biscuit on your menu? You say yes or no. So biscuit, it's a round form of baked bread. It's made of bread. Dough, what is dough? Dough is a mixture. It's a mixture of flour, milk, and fat Whoa. and other ingredients that they are used for baking. They use the dough for baking something. Whoa. Then you eat that dough, but it's baked. Excellent. Number three, crater. It's a large open area with few or no trees. It's like this. A crater, it's a place where you can find trees or no trees, but they are so few. So here, there are some animals that live like buffaloes. They can live on the prairie. And the last word here on this slide, it's raisins. Remember the raisins are made of grapes. They are made of grapes and they are used to for different types of food. I was telling you for nacatamales, for example, for tamales, they use the raisins. With arroz uh, con leche also, they use raisin, different, different foods that they can come to your mind. They use the raisins to give a flavor, right? So those are the first four words. Biscuits, dough, braided, and raisins. Now let's go and see the other words. We have also three more. Rumple, remember the rumple, it's to crumple. Crutch and wrinkle, it's this one. You can have a paper, you can have clothes, rumple. You can have different things, rumple. Rumple and wrinkle means almost the same. They are like synonyms. As you can notice, wrinkle, it's considered here because it's a synonym of wrinkle. Wrinkle is having creases or folds. That's wrinkle also. It's like you say, arrugado. So rumple and wrinkle, they are synonyms. What about teasing? Teasing is annoying someone. When you are jocking, but the other person do, doesn't want to jock, that person becomes angry. So you are teasing that person. That's teasing, annoying someone with unkind jokes or tricks that they don't like. As you can notice on the picture, that boy, this boy is teasing the other one. Yes? Mm. Questions? Anna? It means I have a question of the homework of reading. Oh, yes. You have a homework of reading. Tell me, what's your question? Is the, the is, es como una evaluación o que hay que hacer en la tarea. Okay, excellent. Now, just let me, let me show you, let me show you where are you going to find your homework of reading. Let me open here. Okay, here it is. You are going to go to Schoology for the homework. That's homework, remember? You go to the folder of week number three, click on homework, and you are going to find a visit with grandpa vocabulary. You click on it, and you are going to show what it said. It's like a quiz, but it's not a quiz, but it's like a quiz. So you click on a visit with grandpa vocabulary, yes. And you saw what it's asking there. Tell me your. Mm. I don't have that. I don't have Wait. that that pages on on my book. You don't have that pages on your book. 
No. A visit with grandpa, the story? No. Show me your book. Show me your reading book to see, just to check that you have the, the one that we use in class. Okay, <clears throat> while Joshua is looking, let me tell you. Yes, that's the book, Joshua. That's the book, Joshua. Rebecca, tell me. Miss, vamos a leerle the story para hacer el examen. No, you don't need to read the story. The question is about just the vocabulary. The vocabulary on page uh, 20, on page 20, 22. On that okay. page, you need just to know the vocabulary that I show you, that I show you. What is the meaning of wrinkle? What is the meaning of, of rumple? What is the meaning of teasing? All these it's, words are going to appear in your- you have to, uh, 16. Mm -hmm. The 16, the other pages like the um, 20 and 22 are, are coded. Oh, yes, yes. So there are some missing pages, right? Joshua. Miss, en la, en la tarea me salía the red fox que tenía que mandar, pero yo de hacerlo nunca, no, no me salió en el pueblo. Ahora la pregunta es si tuvimos que copiar algo en the red fox. The red fox, remember that we copied that. We copied, we already copied the red fox in your notebook. Do you remember that we complete the information about the setting? That was a red fox. That is about the red fox. Mm. Now, let me, me let me share and, you this and, for you. And, Anna, miss, tell me. At what time the, the, miss, at what, at what time the, the, the evaluation is going to be habilitated? Okay, yeah, the, remember that's homework. It's going to be today, tomorrow, on um, weekend also. On weekend. Don't no, worry about ya, it. La ola, ya está limitado. Yes, it's already. You you can do it, but not right now because we're in class. Now, what we're going to do, we're yeah. going to work yeah, on yeah, this. Going to we're going to, yes, later. So we're going to work right now on quizzes. That is going to be to, to check if you remember the meaning of the vocabulary that I was telling you right now and if you remember about setting if you remember setting we were talking about the pre uh the first class the first class right so there are 18 questions 18 questions i'm going to share this on the link this link on the through the chat so you need to to click on the link and you are going to join here okay here is the link. So click on the link that is on the chat and we're going to start. I'm going to wait for you to click on the start the game, please. This is for reading. Okay, I see that someone, uh, Lucia, Rebecca, Gabriela, excellent. Perfect, Hermes, Per, Sijan, Khaled, great. Who else? I'm waiting for all of you. We have to be 21. Just 12 right now. Valerie, mm. Santiago Chavez, great. Mm. Tell me, Caleb. Hola, María, Rebeca. 14. There are missing some of you. Remember, click on the link that it's on the on the Zoom chat so you can. Start. Who has some safe name? Who didn't write the name? Who forgot to write a name? Isabella, you forgot it? Yes, I can go into the link. You cannot? Who is Fluffy Pop? No, I can't. Okay. Okay, you can try you can try one more time or you can go to uh, quizzes.com quizzes and you will need to write this code. If you cannot go with the link, 
it's my, my computer there can be in in two things i can be in the room in the meeting and in the quiz oh because the internet is low okay it's available i need you to be here in the on the squeezes okay if you don't complete this it's available that that's going to be part of your like homework is available you're going to solve it and then you are going to take picture and send it uh, to school with you, okay? See, Jan, tell me. Let's see, where's 17? Is Floppy Poppy. Which one? There is. Where is there is a people that her name is Floppy Poppy. That question too. Who is Floppy Poppy? Okay, I see Camila, Mia, Santiago. I'm safe for name. We don't know who is this person. Who didn't write the name? Marcelo, Alberto, Valerie, Santiago Chavez, Joshua, Ana Maria, Chiara, Khaled, Hermes, Percy, Jan, Gabriela, Rebecca, and Lucia. Who is Fluffy Poppy? Yeah, Andrea. It's, okay, just a team. Come on, class. You have to click. Just Isabella, well, Isabella has this skills, but the rest, I'm going to take the attendance to check. Andrea, okay, it's here in 19, perfect. It's missing one, it's missing one. Isabella is missing. Who is missing? Isabella. Isabella, yes, but besides Isabella, it's someone else because you are 21 and 19. With Isabella, you are 20. Someone else has to watch that fluffy puppy. Fluffy puppy is that unsafe name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Gabriela, Gabriela, are you there? Yes. Um, Isabella, okay, excuse. Chiara, where is Chiara? Yes. Lucia, yes. Mia, is it Mia? Okay, Mia is yes. not Rebecca, Rosa, this. is it Rosa connected? No, right? Rosa no. is missing. Rosa is not connected on the class. Okay, so let's start. Rosa is not connected on the class. She might be having some problems. Let's start well. Remember to click on the answer, the correct answer that you consider. Take your time. Take your time. So are you ready now? Yes. Yes. Yes, miss. Start. Okay. Start. Start. Yes, miss. Here was the uh, uh, descriptions of the questions um, that there were for each of you, the mistakes that you have, or the questions that you were correct. Tell me, Marcel. Mm -hmm. Usted no me sende a veces algo llamado recording your progress. Yeah, sweetie, it's because it's recording. Now, let's see the... No, 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 no. Uh, let, yes, yes. Let's review the questions. Let's review the questions. Here we have the questions. What is that in class? Who can tell me what is that in? Setting is the time, time and place in which story of course. Time and place in which story of course. That's right. Here is. 15 of you say that that's the setting. That's right. It's a time and place in which story occurs. Let's check the next one. What are the examples of settings of this picture? One, uh, one, two, one, and three. three. One, two, three. 
No, Why I'm number too. one? It's a forest, right? It looks like a forest. Because it's a place. Mm -hmm. Number two. Why number two? It's a house. The house is it's a place also. And number three. The ranch. The ranch. The ranch. That's right. It's a setting. Why number four is not an example of setting? Why not? Because it's a meat. It's food. It's food. Tell me. Meat. Valerie? Yo apreté la ensalada por accidente. Okay, the salad. Yes, it's food. That food is in the kitchen. That kitchen is an example of setting. But here in this picture, it's just food. It's not an example of setting. But this picture can give us an idea where it can be the setting. But it's not a example of setting. Excellent. Now, what is the answer of pink it's to butter or cookies it's to? Go. Do that's right. Yeah. Remember, we, we work on this class on class. Pancakes is the word, cookies is to do. Do it's is related to cookies. To cookies. Five of you choose that. Now that's one. Plum it's to princess grapes, it's to raisin. 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 That's right. Excellent. Raisins, it's they are made of grapes. That's right. It's related to grapes. That's one. Chip it's the middle as buffalo is to. Yeah. Prater. Prater, that's right. It's the place. This is the place. This is a prater. A prater with buffalo. So this is the place. There are few trees. As you can notice, there are not too much trees. So it's a prater. Next one. Selkie is to roll as online. It's to wrinkle. Wrinkle. This is an example of wrinkle. Do you remember? We can wrinkle a paper. We can wrinkle both it. So this is wrinkle. Excellent. Happy, surprising, as angry, it's too. Easy. 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 And yeah, here we have again the picture of the two boys. It's teasing each other, right? Choose the word that has the same meaning of dough. Which of these words means dough? Mixture. Mixture. It's a mixture. That's right. Dough, it's a mixture. It's a mix of milk. It can be milk, flour, sugar, a cake. Now, what, which word has the meaning of teasing of these four, three? Annoying. Oh. Annoying, that's right. Annoying has the same meaning. The meaning, the same meaning of braiding. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, excellent. Next one. The meaning of rumple. Crushed. Okay. Crushed, that's right, crush. Remember that this is like wrinkle, rumple, and crush, they are synonyms. Biscuits. Roast. 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 Biscuits. They are rolls. Excellent. They are not fruit. They are not peanuts. Okay, next one. Show some examples of setting. The first one. First. The first one. That's right. Why number one? Yes. Yes. Because it's a yes. place. It's a yes. place. Tell me something. It's a place. Eh, elegí el perrito porque me atrayó. <laughs> you chose the duck because you like the duck? Just for that reason? Yes. Okay, but I'm asking you for setting of the picture that you like. <laughs> but that's great. That's great, uh, Santiago. <laughs> the book is not a setting. Remember that a setting is the setting. It's a what is a setting, class? A place to the story. The place to have the place in time. In time. In time. Place in time. The place can be on a park. The place cannot be on a book or in a dock. Now, choose an examples of setting. All. Oh, all of them. All of them. That's right. Why all of them, Sijan? But all is because all is uh, because all is a park or a setting to play. All of them are places. That's right. And here you have a date, 2019 to 2020, and last week. And we're talking about time. That is a Okay. And now this one. Which words it means almost created? Large open area with no trees. Excellent. That's the answer. Which word? Uh, what is the meaning of teasing? Joking with, Joking with making fun of. Fun of. Excellent. Yeah. And the meaning of biscuits? Bread, Bread bacon in small round forms. And the last question was for rumple. 
Crush and messy. Crush and messy. That's right. Excellent. That was the answer. You did a great job, class. Don't forget that you have one whole word is similar like this and it's cool. So we finished the class. See you. Oh, go and have recess. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.